Prime Minister Gordon Brown, President Kofor, President Kagame, President of the General Assembly, Sejan Karim, it really is a great pleasure and an honor to co-host this event on behalf of the UN development system. As was just said, I think the UN is moving very strongly towards the private sector, towards trying to be a strong partner to the private sector, because we have well understood that without the private sector's dynamism, without the innovation, the technology, the know-how, the Millennium Development Goals cannot be achieved. Now, of course, some mentioned charity, and uh, charity does remain important. There will always be room for charity. There will be need for a safety net, both a public sector safety net and a private sector safety net, and charity remains welcome. But the event today is not about charity. It's about productivity, it's about investment, it's about doing core business and doing it in a way that profits development, that goes towards the Millennium Development Goals. We heard many examples. Uh, school feed crops in, in Uganda making remittances more easily available through banking technology. How to make computer essential tools for development and many others. And President Kofor said, invest, it will be profitable. There's no more profitable investment than in Africa. Now, from a point of view of economics, and I'm an economist, this is really not that surprising. When you bring new technology to places which have not got that technology, when you bring that know-how into new markets, into new environments, profit, profitability is higher. Why can some Asian countries grow at 9, 10, or 11 percent, whereas the potential growth you know, in, in, in the best years of the rich countries is perhaps three and a half, four percent, because you have the combination of new technology, new markets, new scale, new skills coming together in a novel way. And if Africa can bring the same kind of tools together as, as East Asia has and as other places have, and even in Asia there's still countries that have to do it, it's not just about Africa, it's also about Central America, parts of Latin America, parts of Asia, then we can have very, very rapid growth. It has been shown. It's not a dream. Some countries have succeeded in having growth rates close to 10%. And that means, of course, reaching the Millennium Development Goals. That means wiping out poverty. That means reaching the health and education goals. And, of course, we also have to underline these days with greater force the environmental goals that have to be built in into this whole, uh, into this whole endeavor. So it is possible. There are examples, we can do it, and the private sector must be a driving force. Now, the final point I'd like to make is that in the past, many opposed the private sector-led development versus the public sector-led development, as if these were two opposites, two alternatives to one another. We may still disagree on a lot of precise policy detail. Not everything is solved in economic policy and in development. But I think we do agree now that the private sector initiative, the private sector know-how, and good public policy are not alternatives to one another, but, but are complements. They have to come together. And here is that that is true in the, at the national level and also at the international level. And I think this is where the role of the UN system, broad UN system, including the World Bank, UNDP, and other UN agencies, I think here is where, where we come in. We must work with you build that complementarity, to build the policy frameworks that will work, that will work for the private sector, but in a way that private sector development works for all. We've seen examples of policies where this can happen. We've also seen counterexamples. It is hard not to mention the food, crisis, food price crisis today that hits the headlines. When policies are counterproductive, such as export bans, for example, problems will become worse, or subsidies to crop-based biofuels, which are part of the big problem we're facing today. So policy has to be right. With the right kinds of policies, the private sector can move ahead and build prosperity for the entire world. And our resident representatives, uh, 134 of them in almost every country in the world, are there to help. Uh, they, please call on them. Please try to seek them out and, and try, uh, try to ask them for help when you need it, particularly on the policy front. Together, as Prime Minister Gordon Brown stressed, and I stress that together, public policymakers and the private sector can make it. I think today has been a watershed event. I think 2008 can be a real turning point, and I hope that this meeting 
will be a big, big first important step and will be followed by a very successful meeting on the 25th of September in New York at the UN. Many thanks.